Guys, have you ever seen Microsoft Flight Simulator running at 90 FPS in VR? It is the first time I see a miracle like this. But shooting a video about my new Whirlpool flight stick, I have been showing how it is easy to beat all time trials now, thanks to my new Whirlpool Iron Max controller being so smooth and making fast, smooth flying effortless. But I guess the game running at 90 FPS has as much to do with the effortless flying part too. While everyone is stuttering at 50 FPS even with the best PC hardware. So what exactly is the trick? Well, I just switched to the new Steam Link 2.0 beta. And this is not your normal Steam Link. But you can find the latest 2.0 beta APK in your Steam VR drivers folder and simply sideload the APK using the side quest. So the Microsoft Flight Simulator still runs like crap at only around 45 FPS, but the Steam Link does the reprojection way better than any streamers like the virtual desktop, making the Microsoft Flight look so incredibly clear and smooth now. Yeah, it's not only about the high FPS and low latency, but the game looks so much better using the Steam Link. With no more blur, distortion and just dirty image like I always had been experiencing using the virtual desktop. Just look at these distortions using the space wrap projection in the virtual desktop. It looked so terrible and was the main cause of all graphical issues in the Microsoft Flight 2024 as the trashy and laggy stuttery performance, because there is no comparison with the smoothness of the new Steam Link. I can read all the tiniest text on the dials even without leaning forward. All scenery and treetops do not get blurred or leave any strange trails. And I'm using my Quest Pro headset with a dynamic eye tracking streaming and dynamic eye track to render running over 3K resolution per eye with a DLSS set to balance and all the rest settings are NVIDIA optimized defaults between the high and medium. By the way, I'm not even running any fancy card. It is just RTX 4070 Super and it still does 90 FPS with reprojection. And there is even a video showing that you can get the same visuals and performance boost using the Quest 3 headset without even the eye tracking. So just fly channel shows clarity difference in DCS using the Steam Link on a Quest 3. Exactly same benefits in visual quality, low latency, even without the eye tracking. So yeah, when I look back, all people trash talk about wireless VR quality on a Quest and blame meta or wireless connection for all the issues. But actually what we should blame are the virtual desktop developers. Both were gaslighting VR players for years. And we're the actual problem for the shitty visuals and bad performance. After moving to the new Steam Link 2.0 beta, all those issues are gone on the same Quest headset. It runs perfectly smooth and have the best visuals I have ever seen. Even bigger benefits using the high resolution 4K micro OLED Play for Dream headset. So I have been using only the Steam Link since I started the testing back in September. And all you need is just to sideload out the beta APK from a Steam VR folder and edit the Steam VR settings file. I will leave all details and guide with the links in the video description, you can join Panda Discord. There are way more people using the Quest Pro, Quest 3 and Play for Dream headsets and using the Steam Link already. If you are interested to see Virpal Iron Max fly stick, check my video next here. And Steam Link is literally like magic. A complete game changer for all wireless VR. We have never seen before. It has best performance, best visual quality to compete with the display poor headsets. It has low latency. And yeah, Valve sometimes even fixes crappy, unoptimized, broken games now. I'm not joking, I think this is not only Microsoft Flight Simulator, but many old outdated games automatically run 
with correct settings for the best performance in the Steam using the Steam link. And that Steam reprojection just works wonders. You can check my other video about the SteamOS where I was playing VR on my Asus Rock Alley handle and it was still smooth in the headset even running some games like VRChat only at 30 FPS. And again all links and videos will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.